Good afternoon, everyone. Captain Kurt here again, in-depth precision charters. On the river again today. Don't really care about watching football, rather fish. And I know you all know about the addiction <laughs> that we have. So, anyway, we're back on the river today. Trying to get some more footage, trying to get some more videos for you guys to watch, and uh, hopefully subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please do, because we are going to be putting out a lot of videos, like I say, and a lot of good content for you guys to know, learn, see, do. So, hey, got the fire going in the background. It's really not even cold out today. I'm sweating from chopping wood, but uh, anyhow, we're going to try and get it done again today. Conditions look perfect again. Um, no wind. Um, just a great day to be outside and uh, a little gloomy. I mean, it's not sunny and bright, but we like these gloomy days for steelhead fishing. So, and... Uh, <clears throat> but it looks like it's going to be a great day stay tuned hopefully we can get some fish on video for you guys today again and uh, last time last trip out was a great trip uh, I, th I i thought we hooked only five we hooked six that day i miscalculated and it was actually a total of six <coughs> on the last day we were out here so anyway hopefully we have another good day and uh, stay tuned thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you for subscribing if you have subscribed thank you and if you haven't already get subscribed um, then we can shoot them videos right to you alrighty okay guys let's get it let's uh, see what we can do here uh, get some fish on the bank let's get going let's get at it well that took about all day jeez oh Pete bite is tough today folks super tough but we do have one on <laughs> finally yeah. I have been here for hours trying to catch a fish today and we finally this ain't even a big one active <laughs> Very active. Oh, about a seven pound hen, maybe. Spunky little dude. think they'd ever bite today. I know what time it is. Let's look. 3.30. It took all day to get a bite. Pretty colored fish. Really pretty. Come on, dude. That's a beautiful fish. Wow, is that thing pretty. Dude is pretty. Uh. 
that's a beautiful fish. Wow. That's a pretty dude. Pretty hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to let you go back. We're going to let you go home. finger come on dude <sighs> that's a good solid five pounds I'd say six pounds Finally got it done for you folks today. Getting awfully discouraged. Awfully discouraged. But we got one on the bank so far. Gonna get right back at it here uh, before we lose the good. Uh, little window here we got a little window here about an hour um, from 330 to 430 so let's get another one a little one <laughs> a little skip oh you just can't get them bigger fish to bite today Here, you little Skippy. Here, Skippy. Oh. Just come off. There he goes. Muskrat. I fished this hole all day today and finally got one bite, one fish. Looks like a decent one too. I can keep them on here. Oh, how she wants to go out in the lumber. Feeling there's a lot of fight left in this fish that we haven't seen yet. Yes, what I thought. Across the river she goes. I didn't think she was done. I tell you folks, if you think you need to leave the river because it's getting close to dark, that's the time you really should be staying. Because it's... Oh, what time it is right now. It's 4 420 and we're just finally starting to get bit so we finally started getting bites it's taken all day well I can't say I've been here all day I've been here since about 1130 but I always try to fish the warmer part of the day too 
Whenever you see the warmest part of the day in the winter time, you need to be on the river at that time, not early in the morning. This fish just does not <laughs> give it up. She almost looks like she wants to at times, but then she wants to keep going. Come on, girl. We're going to throw you back. to do with that beach <laughs> you know it must not be a sunbather <laughs> well the sun we got today come on baby <laughs> she just don't want nothing to do with coming in here facing me before I go down there to her like that <sighs> she's better than I thought she was way better than I thought she was <sighs> I'm soaked real good too she wasn't coming off Here with a pair of needle looms. Yeah, what a beautiful fish. Hey, eh? what a beauty. There you go, Mama. Go do your thing. pretty chilly <laughs> well we're getting a few to the bank today way more than I thought the way the day was shaping up it wasn't shaping up to be well, you know, it's weird because what looks like a great day, you're going to have a great day, turns out to be not so great. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this fishery, these fish are just so unpredictable. You think you're going to do good on certain days and you get skunked. And other days you come down here, you, you just like it on any other day, you really don't think nothing's going to be special, and then all of a sudden, it's lights out. Just don't know day to day how it's going to be. And as soon as I can figure those things out, <laughs> I will let you know. Because <laughs> that is, it's all part of fishing, eh? Fishing. It's not exactly catching. They call it fishing for a reason. But I don't know how much longer we're going to stay down here. I might go down to my other holes there and just try and 
put two and two together here and stick it out till closer to dark and just to see for my own self you know to see and show you guys if these fish are going to continue to bite into the getting closer to dark but I'm sure it's going to shut off here probably any minute so we'll get back in it get back over there and try these other holes give this one a break and uh, see if we can get another one right on well I think we proved that theory wrong <laughs> they are still biting this light god I'm not going to come down here till 5 o'clock now Unbelievable. Look at this goofy thing. Just coming right in. <laughs> Look at the colors on that fish. Whoo. Five oh three. Still catching them. Absolutely. What a day. What a day. Look at the fat belly on her. She just put up like no fight. Just come right in. There you go, babe. Back in. They're there. And you really got to finesse them today to get them to bite. <laughs> well, <laughs> with that fish, folks, I think we are going to call it before it gets too dark. I gotta walk all the way back down there to get my gear and then walk back here and up the hill. So stay till dark. Don't give up on them fish thinking the bite is over. We just proved that you still can catch them at 5 o'clock, after 5 o'clock. Now we were fishing in this hole. Before I got that fish to bite, we threw through there probably another 15, 20 times in the same spot. Got bit twice and missed both bites. So, stick with it. Be persistent. Bring your jig in. Bring your, whatever you're using, and just cinch the knot up. What I was doing was cinching the knot up and bringing it around towards the hook shank just so that jig would hang hang a little bit different like this on the line okay just so they see that thing a little just a tad bit different is all you need and um, don't give up on holes and spots and things of that nature you know if you think oh there's nothing in here there's nothing in here believe me they're in there it's just the way that you're presenting that bait to them they might not want it that way they might want it to look a little different or maybe just this thing is hooking your wax worms on or hooking whatever bait you're using on a different way so they see it a different way so it's being presented to them differently than what they've been looking at go buy them every you know they watch these baits go buy them 10 15 times i'm sure that fish i just caught watched that thing go by probably four times four or five times you know within its eye, it, you know, it, within eye shot of that fish, you know, but just, I, I kept tweaking it and doing th different things and then boom, got bit. So keep that in mind when you're out steelhead fishing, you're in a certain spot, you're running your bait through there 15, 20 different times, nothing, change the bait, change the whole bait, put a fly on, put a bead head or a spawn bag anything a bead just a regular bead you know they're they're 
wanting a certain bait a certain way so don't give up on a hole and stay till dark you know just like I am here today uh, stay late because they can still see what well, if you think they can't see that bait they can see it so don't ever give up on it don't ever give up on a hole throw several different patterns through there make sure that you give that hole its due diligence so just be persistent and don't get discouraged like I did earlier today hey I do it it happens to all of us you know we get discouraged we fish our buns off and then we fish and fish and fish and fish and then we think then we're just getting discouraged you know like I was earlier today just wait till that bite presents itself it's there them fish are there don't ever rule out a hole or a piece of river and say hey the fish are not here they're there just and they've proved me wrong a thousand times they're there just give it time you know they just won't bite you know there's a certain window you know and today it seems like you know and and as of late it seems like it's been around 3 30 and I just proved it today to 5 so but usually 3 30 to 4 30 seems like a really good window as of late so give it that window at least you know give it that amount of time so hopefully you guys learned something today I'm gonna get out of here <laughs> um, I don't really feel like walking up this hill in the dark but it might just come to that so I'm gonna get my stuff gathered up and uh, get back up the hill so alright guys thanks for watching thanks for watching subscribe to the channel Captain Kurt Straka in-depth precision chargers on YouTube so you can see all these videos and learn and just follow us along the way along the journey follow us <laughs> so anyway see you guys thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next video